What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, John from the Game of Do here, welcoming you back to another episode of Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. And what is a weird episode already? Because I went to record, started recording, doing the things I was supposed to do, and then hit the A button on OBS, which caused the recording to stop. Thankfully, by the grace of God, Sniper came in and literally soundboard bombed me. I was upset at first and then looked and was like, oh crap, I'm not recording. So, I know what's happening for like two minutes. Bear with me. I am going to go to the movie theater. And the reason why I was going to the movie theater is because I already knew how to deal with the Nagito and I did not want to do that in the first place. Um, but that's literally about the extent that I know is kind of what's going on in the movie theater. So, for the sake of not spoiling it for you guys, I will not enlighten you. Um, cause y'all are gonna have to find out yourselves here, uh, what is going to happen. And then of course we have to go to the hospital as well. So my thought process is that it, it's going to be, um, two different, um, movies, right? So, or I watch the movie and then after I watch the movie, Hello. then I go to the hospital and then I end the episode because then it'll be trial. That's my thought process, but I am not hundred percent sure on that. All I know is this conversation literally right here. Why, hello there, Hayame. I knew you'd come here. That means you notice it too, right? The case this time is an imitation case in which the killer used the motive as their theme, or the movie as their theme. I wouldn't know, because I haven't watched the movie yet. I see. Oh, I see. Then you really should watch this movie first. Hey, hey manager, customer here. Did you call me? Yes. Oh, wow. Huh? Hi, I amaze the customer. Do you have a problem with that? What are you gonna do? <laughs> and you said you didn't want to watch it, but I knew you wanted to see it all along. If there wasn't a sudonary or sudary, hi, Ame looks like, then you're really a tough guy. Oh, uh, you were so devoted to being a sudonary or oh my god, I keep saying sudonary, sundary, sundary. You even bought a Monokuma sticker for $1.5 million! You paid $1.5 million for a sticker? It's nothing, Nagito. In exchange for watching, not watching the movie, Hayame paid $1.5 million for a Monokuma sticker. Come on, since we're talking about it anyway, why don't you show it to Nagito? Stop! But my resistance was in vain as Monokuma reached into my pocket and took the sticker out. See, it's this one! I'm sorry I was born stupid. That's... You bought th this for $1.5 million? <laughs> <laughs> but in the end, he's still gonna watch the movie. Who cares about it anymore? Just hurry up and give me the invitation ticket. Here. Okay, here you go. It already says, it, uh, uh, so on the invitation, but it's only effective today at this time. By the way, I can only give away one ticket per person, so you can only have one chance to watch it for free. I've already stamped today's date onto the ticket. Oh my god, I didn't even notice. 4 a.m.? What the heck? So you won't be able to cheat. Don't worry, I plan to watch it once. Look forward to it, okay? Then I'll prepare the projection reel. Please wait a bit, okay? Ah, hey. oh, hi, Yume. About an invitation ticket, I strongly recommend you keep it safe. Why? There's no reason. It's just a protective charm. 2.5D. I guess I should wait until Monokuma finishes his preparations. So, I actually, from here, did try to leave. You came all this way not to watch it? Your sudonary or sundere knows no limits. It's just a mere Hayame, or it's just like me to make Hayame so prickly. I might be hiding a past where I once known, I was once known as a prima donna of the mascot world. You were definitely not called hey, that. Hey. It's about time that you showed off your dairy side. You know, come on, liven yourself up a little. So, so wait a bit, okay? <clears throat> and then I went to talk, or I went to the theater. Hold on! I'm in the middle of preparing. Don't rush, don't rush. Sure? Hasty boys get hated, you know. They might even get hated by boy bears too, you know. 
You can't. You can hate me all that you want. And then we have the video game poster. Um, looks interesting. I'm definitely gonna buy that. And then I went to go talk to Nagito again because well, impossible. Hi, Ime. I cannot believe you bought that thing, and you paid 1.5 million dollars for it too. But even you said, or even you should have just settled it with money and get out of seeing that movie. You're right, but that means I would have had to buy that thing, you know? Just leave me alone! I understand that. Information booth? It's the same thing. That was the same line of text. This reminds me, that item should be on top of the counter. Oh! A tote bag made of hemp and cloth, a decal on Monomi's face on it. It's an all-purpose bag with a variety of, or useful for a variety of common tasks. It is a limited item. Only one person can have it. So if somebody bought it. What's this? Whoa there, are you interested in buying that tote bag? Well, that's just too bad, because it already sold out. Who'd you sell it to? So Stupid? Stupid? There's no way I'd fall for that. No way I'd say something that would reveal who the killer is. <laughs> so the killer bought it. Ah! I remember you said there was only one because it was a limited item, right? Ah, hmm. uh, um, it's not limited to one. It's more like it's limited to one person. What's the difference? Hey, um... When you buy one bag, you get another free. It's a common practice to bait customers with bonus prizes. For some reason, hearing you say that pisses me off. Monokuma's account has been added to the Truth Bullet section. Well now. now then, forget that I carelessly made a slip of the tongue. Now Looks then. like preparations are complete, so please enter the theater right away. Mm, this is exciting, exciting! Mmm, so the killer bought... See, that I didn't know. So now we're at the point where I don't know what's going on. Just so you know. Um, even, I didn't know Monokuma's account was ready, so... Even a part of it. I should have stated that. I apologize for keeping you waiting. World famous director Monokuma presents a stunning masterpiece that reduced American audiences to tears. The Wizard of Monomi in 2.5D will be the screening shortly. From the title alone, I have a bad feeling about this. 2.5D sounds to be so half-assed. Please relax and enjoy the film. Getting the second headphone in. Oh, I love 38 now. Nice. Oh, boy. Monokuma was born in a remote village full of old people because the death rates outpaced the birth rates. One day, Monokuma was swept up by a tornado created by a helicopter gunship during a routine military exercise. And was whisked away to Monami's country. Monokuma wanted to return to his homeland so he could go back to pestering the old people for change. This feels like Wizard of Oz. I'm a fucking idiot. Wizard of Monomy. It's literally a Wizard of Oz reference. My, f I'm dumb. So Don't listen to me being dumb. To see the wizard Monomy, who was rumored to grant any wish one desires. Along the way, he met a very loyal group of friends. Monokuma met a Monomy scarecrow who was missing a brain. When he recommended that. <laughs> Okay, so I was right about that. Oh, no. So the killer just told freaking her to do it and did it. Oh, fuck. The Monomy Scarecrow hanged herself and died. Oh, no. The lion. What did you tell the lion? Her courage. So he pumped her full of arrows. That one we didn't see. No, that better not be Nekamaru! He also met a Monami Tin Man who was missing a heart. 
So Monokuma sliced her into lumps of iron. After a lot of other stuff happened, Monokuma finally reached the wizard Monami, the great and powerful. Eventually, one thing led to another, and he started beating the crap out of Monami. And in the end, he somehow usurped the kingdom from her. With this, Monokuma enslaved the old people, took their pensions, and lived the rest of his days in luxury. And he lived happily ever after. The end. An imitation murder. Man, movies... Uh, let me hold on for a second. So an imitation murder... The arrows. Oh god, Otto's on. No! Okay. So, what does that mean for us? Is... There's one missing, and I feel like that's Nekamaru, to be honest. Who, Whichever it is, whether it's the Tin Man or the, uh... Which Monokuma did blow up Nekamaru. Or if it's the apple, like the arrows. And I don't know which one it is, but anyway, we'll find out. Man, movies are the best. That drama was so moving that I needed two boxes of tissues. One for each hand. Now then, let's meet again at the class trial. Bye. Bye bye bye. I'm too disgusted to even sigh right now. That's all I can say to describe this situation. I cannot believe I got I didn't realize it was a Wizard of Oz reference early enough. How was it? Actually, I don't even have to ask. I totally expected your reaction. That was honestly the worst movie I've ever seen. Is it even okay to call that a movie? But thanks to that movie, now you know, right? Yeah. Just like you said, the characters who were killed in the movie match the victims in this case. Oh, it's gonna tell us. Ibuki's death matched the Scarecrow in the movie. Hiyoko's suspended body matches the Lion's death, too. Okay, so that's what I thought, but I didn't, wasn't 100% sure. What? It would have been a complete imitation if the killer killed three people, but it seems that that wasn't possible. Perhaps the killer is upset about that right now, or... If the killer's main goal was just an imitation murder, they should be, ups they should be upset about it, but... I'm not sure if even that's true. To the hospital, I go. Take care of the hospital things. Here's the thing. The, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. I feel like I haven't been here for a while, even though it's only been a few days. Hey, you prepared surveillance camera unit, right? Hey, hey. Yeah, so... I didn't make any weird modifications or anything. It's not like it's sus I'm suspicious or anything. Didn't you get this from a shady-looking alley where all those machines were lined up? Right. Yeah, I just tweaked it a little. Then, if there are other surveillance camera units, would it be possible to transmit a signal to the hospital from one of those cameras, too? Yeah. No, that's impossible. Originally, surveillance cameras and surveillance monitors are only used as part of the same unit. The video was filmed with the hospital camera and only viewed at the hospital monitor. The video was filmed with the music venue camera and can only be seen on the music venue monitor. Hey. But if I left it like that, I wouldn't be able to communicate, so I decided to swap the cameras. So that's how you guys were able to view the hospital footage from the music venue and vice versa. However, each surveillance unit camera manages to broadcast based on a specific number. So even if you try to bring the same model camera on a monitor, you won't be able to interview with the signal. Meaning if another surveillance camera exists, it'd be po impossible to broadcast with it. Huh? However, I didn't just swap the cameras. I modified them and increased their wireless range. If I hadn't done that, we wouldn't be able to use it. You're right. You're right. You did work on that. I should investigate the lobby.
There's a surveillance camera unit on top of the reception desk. As long as the music venue surveillance camera is destroyed, it is impossible to broadcast with this. Hajime. Hey, Hajime. There's something I wanted to ask you. You first discovered a Buki's body at the music venue, right? But why did you go to the music venue? You had a reason for that, right? Did you see something with the camera? That's right. Oh, I wanted to ask you that. It'd be different if the surveillance camera unit could record, but it's only good for household functions. Hey, hey. Tell me, Hajime. Yeah, that's exactly it. I saw a strange video in that surveillance camera unit. It showed a music venue stage. It was black curtain, and a, there was a black curtain hanging like there is now. The whole display was pretty dark because they were only using candlelight. There were ropes hanging from the ceiling. Beneath that, there was a stepladder on the floor. And right away, a person wearing a hospital gown and a hemp bag on their head appeared. I didn't know who it was because their face was covered, but now I know it must have been Ibuki. She walked straight to the stepladder without any hesitation. She climbed that stepladder on her own free will and then grabbed that rope and... That's all I saw. The candlelight must have been snuffed out or something because the screen went dark all of a sudden and it wasn't displaying anything anymore. Man. Well, if the candlelight goes out, obviously nothing will show up. Modern surveillance cameras use infrared functions so that they can show even uh, up in the, even in the dark. But the one I got from the machine alley was a really, really old model. Ah, uh, hold on. Well? At the time, you said you didn't know that the person was wearing a hemp bag, that the person wearing a hemp bag was a bookie, right? Yeah. Hmm. You didn't know it was her because you saw she was trying to hang herself? So you rushed over to the music venue to try and stop her. But I didn't make it in time. Hey. Still, if she climbed the stepladder on her own, does that mean she committed a suicide? Wouldn't that mean she's her own killer? Ibuki committed suicide. What do you think, Chiaki? Mm. There's no doubt Ibuki climbed on the stepladder on her own, right? Yeah, there's no doubt. If so... Mm. Mm. You. Hey, don't think for so long. If you don't know, just be honest about it. Well, of course she doesn't. There's no way we'd be able to figure it out that easily. Mm. Oh, yeah. I need to investigate the conference room on the second floor. Mm. I'm heading over there. <laughs> what the heck? She ran all the way all of a sudden. She said in the conference room, but why would she mention the conference room all of a sudden? Also, I might be overthinking, but did she seem a little upset? Surveillance monitor video has been added to the truth bullet section of the handbook. Conference room we go! We're up, up, and away! Oh, hi. Akane. Now then. Phew, finally getting back to my normal self. Right. Hi, Ame, help me out with my recovery. You can touch my boobs if you win. No, thanks. She was bearable when she was quiet. It'd be so much better if she was still feeling that after effects. She'd beat me up if I said that out loud. Anyway, why are you here? Hey, hey. Well, I've never been sick or hurt before, so I had no idea, but... <laughs> Hospital gowns are pretty comfy, and I was thinking I might as well be keep wearing one. Don't tell me you plan to wear hospital gowns from now on. Mm. That's the idea, but it looks like they're out of stock. It looked like there was one gown for each patient room, so I thought there, there would be more empty in the empty rooms. There weren't any gowns. Yeah. Yep, that's totally right. Abuki died wearing one, so the only one left is not the one Nagito was wearing. <laughs> if I have no choice, then I should just use the Nagito Nagitos. It is unisex anyway, so I'll probably be able to fit in it. Hold on, what happened to the gown you were wearing? Huh? Are you saying I should wear one? I already wore. That's gross. Wearing clothes someone else is wearing is even grosser. Yeah. No time to dilly dally. It totally left Mikan in the back of the music venue. Crap, I gotta go back soon. Well, it's okay. I already investigated the music venue, but leaving her on guard duty was a bad idea. Apparently so. Um, conference room. I always forget that you can run. I always forget that. And it's something I need to remember a little bit more often because. It, like, really helps a lot to, in order to get things. What's this? It's pitch black and I can't see anything. Um, where's the switch? Hey. Don't turn it on. Huh? Chiaki, are you there? Because... If you turn on the light, it's going to be fully exposed. And it's an, it'd be embarrassing. What, what's fully hey. exposed? Hey, Hayame. If you poke out your eyes, you can turn on the light. What are you going to do? Are you going to poke them out? I'm not going to poke out my own eyes. Aw. Aw, bummer. Troll fail. No sooner did she finish saying that, I heard a dry sound of curtains being drawn. There was a flash of intense light that stung my eyes a little. I squinted my eyes until I started adjusting to the light. 
I saw Chiaki finish opening the curtain that was covering the window. Hey, hey. Were you surprised? Surprised? I don't get it. Well? I got it. Got what? See? The curtains in the conference room are designed to be completely to completely block out light. Mm. There's a projector in here, so they were probably careful about the light shining through. See? See, a black curtain that blocks the light is also long enough to reach the floor. It's perfect. A black light blocking the curtain. That's why it was so dark. So, is something wrong with it? Mm. I'm still in the middle of investigating, so it's a secret. Yep, she's definitely upset. But still, what was that all about? A bit about being embarrassing if I look and the troll fail? Nope. I just wanted to mess with you. Yep, she's definitely upset. She's Why is she acting so childish? I guess I'm done investigating the hospital. I should move on to a different place. What? A, are we going to investigate... different place. It's not over yet? I'm thinking of investigating the, uh... The alleyway? So what I'm going to do first is go to the Teddy Typhoon so that way we can talk to Mekon and maybe she's done um, investigating the body because that is one thing that we need to do is get the autopsy report from Mekon. Um, if she's not done, that's okay um, because then my other thought process is to go to the surveillance video area. Um, so we'll find out. Hi Mekon, how are you? Uh, it's difficult to estimate the time of death. But it's not my fault. It's because the music video was so hot. I, I got that already. Calm down. But, 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 but if the killer was behind this, there was, is there any reason for them to cover up the time of death? As long as it's an imitation murder, there's no mistaking the order of the murders. Not just that. I also witnessed it. So it should be clear what the order of the murders occurred. First it was Ibuki. Then it was Hiyoko. As long as we know that, there's no reason for them to cover up the time of death. Even so, why? Oh. Okay, so no, we do have to go to the, um, the other place. Oh, maybe the motel. We might want to go to the hotel, or motel, too. Now that I think about it. I just remembered, I never went inside of the rooms in the motel. Plus, I don't even know where Hiyoko's room is. It might be faster if I just ask someone. So you're here, right? Come on out. Huh? Are you talking to me? I can see you. Did you really think that you could hide your presence like that? I wasn't trying to hide in the first place. Hey, which room was Hiyoko staying in? Listen, Open the door to the center room. <laughs> However, are you prepared? Make sure you pray to whatever god you hold dear, and make sure you, and ma you might want to bring an extra pair of underwear. Hee hee hee. I wonder how this guy talked, this guy talked to his parents and teachers. Damn right. Hey Hayame, can you explain it to me again? What happened when he first discovered Ibuki's body? It was the same when I found it with you guys. Ibuki's body was hanging from the baton lighting. However, there was no body discovery announcement made, and that's why I went to get you guys. I met up with Chiaki at this motel, and then we, when we were about to go back to the music venue, get it. you met up with Mikon and me. And that's when we went back to the music venue. The entrance door wouldn't open for some reason. So we had no choice but to break down the door, and discovered Hiyoko's body was suddenly there too. Yeah, and that's what happened. Hey. This is the most important part. When you arrived at the motel, who else saw you besides Chiaki? Um, as I recall, Gundam. And Monomi. Didn't you hear me? A body was found. B -b -b body Kyo! Could it be you only intend to spread lies like Nagito in order to confuse us all? 
Besides Chiaki, I saw Gundam and Monami. I see. I see. So Kazuichi and Sonya didn't appear, huh? Oh. Oh. My prime suspect is becoming more of a prime suspect! Do you think those two are suspicious? Like... Well, Hyoka was killed. Between the time you saw Abuki's body and where we broke down the door, right? So obviously those two are the most suspicious since they weren't with us. That might be... But it... I... That might be it, but... While we're at it, let me tell you my alibi, too. When the morning Monokuma announcement woke me up, I went straight to the hospital. I saw Mikon panicking in front of the hospital, and I asked her what was going on. She said Ibuki had disappeared. So you guys split up and looked for Ibuki, huh? Well, yeah. While we were circling this island, she came to the motel and saw you guys here. Did you see anybody else when you circled the island? Well. No. We went to the movie theater... And that street full of machines to look for Ibuki, and we didn't see anyone. Are you implying that I don't have an alibi because I didn't run into anyone? It's unreasonable for you to doubt me. That the time that Mikan and I were on our own looking for Ibuki wasn't very long. In that short time, there is no way I could have killed Hiyoko and wrapped her around the pillar with duct tape. It's true. I feel like there wasn't enough time to do that after I left the music venue. But the fact that Hiyoko was killed and we did discover her body. What? Do you still doubt me? Jeez. Well, I'm used to it. It's true that I've done things that I deserve being doubted for. So don't worry. Even if you doubt me, I don't plan to, on dismembering you and encasing you in concrete. I'd want to know in advance what I'd have to do in the end, if, or what I'd have to do to end up like that. Fi, Fuyuhiko's account has been added to the truth. So it's a lot of people's words is going to be what's going to be this. Uh, I don't necessarily know how to feel about that. Clatter, clatter, clatter. Looks like it's locked, but the key was inside her kimono, so maybe if I use this. Crack. It opened, just as I thought. This key was Hyoko's room. Key. Alright, I'll go inside. So Hyoko was staying here. She only stayed here a few nights, so it doesn't really feel like her room, but I feel a little conflicted. Oh my. Huh? Did the door open? Yeah, Hiyoko put her key in her kimono, so I used that to open it. Um, oh, I see. What, did something happen? No, it's just... I am starting to believe it might be my fault. Her fault? What does she mean? Um, the moment Hiyoko came to this motel, she completely shut herself in this room. She was afraid of the despair disease, so she was cautious of you guys too, right? However, however the fear of the disease was not only the reason she, the only reason she locked herself in her room. She had another reason. Besides that disease, what was the other reason that would make her lock herself in her room? Perhaps. Her kimono. Her kimono? Um, um, yesterday I went to go talk to her. Since she had been in her room for some time, and I told her she it might be good for her to go outside for a bit. She kept the door to her room locked, but by coincidence, it was not locked that time. Then I saw it. Um. Hyoko was crying and struggling with her kimono sash. She didn't want to smell bad, so she took a shower, but then she couldn't tie her sash anymore. Mahiro is no longer with us, so I believe she was having trouble with it. She didn't leave her or she didn't leave her room because she couldn't tie her kimono, huh? You are right. The others might have thought it was silly, just a silly sash, but it must have been a serious issue for her. Hyoko told me that she learned how to tie her sash from Mahiru. So Mahiru kindly taught her the basics. That's why she wanted to be able to tie her sash on her own. Perhaps. She probably could not forgive herself for not being able to do it, especially since Mahiru was the one that taught her. I... I could not understand her feelings, which is why I said what I did. What did you tell her? Hyoko, by chance, are you having trouble wearing your kimono? Stupid! What are you saying? Of course I can do it! Because Mahiru taught me. That's why I can do it on my own. Uh, um, if that is the case, how about you do it someplace where there is a mirror? Do you remember the full-length mirror in the storage room at the music venue? If you do it while standing in front of a large mirror, I am confident you will be successful. Also, shutting yourself in your room like this may be bad for your health. Um... And that's when she kicked me out. It cannot be. Could it be Hiyoko remembered that? 
Are you saying she went to the music venue to wear her kimono? Um, I can see that happening. Hyoko locked her room and made sure she put the room key inside her kimono. I can't imagine that she was abducted by someone. If so, that's weird. Hey, did you tell anybody about that before the incident? Or was someone listening into your conversation? I never told anyone, but I and I do not believe that anyone was listening in on our, our conversation. Nobody knew. If that's the case, how did the killer know Hyoko was going to the music venue? Something's wrong. Sonia's account has been added to the Truth Bullet section. That's kind of the thing that's getting to me right now, honestly, is it's it's all about trusting and everybody else's word. And that is just something that's very hard uh, for me as an individual to do. So that is, yeah, it is definitely not very easy. There's a mirror, but it's so small and rusty. There's no way anybody could use it. I don't see anything else that looks suspicious. There's no sign that someone made a mess in her room. And I don't think she was forcefully abducted. I feel like I couldn't really find any important clue. Oh, well, well. Oh, wow. Okay, they made, they actually had us do something. The class trial's gonna start, you know. So, make sure you guys come to Monokuma Rock ASAP. <laughs> it's already time. So this again. I need to go to that place again. But now is not the time to be a coward. The reason Ibuki and Hiyoko became victims in order to find the truth. The only thing I can do is go. Everyone who heard the announcement had gathered at Monokuma Rock. And soon enough, Welcome. is everybody here? Do you guys want to go to the class trial? Hey, jerk, hold it right there. What? Don't get in the way. You're a little dumb sister who's short of a few brain cells. Hey. My brain works just fine. Hey. Monokuma, what did you do with Nikamaru? Hmm. I see. So you come to avenge him. Yes. Avenge? That sounds like he died. <laughs> Sounds like you say. Oops! Anyway, anyway Nekamaru is unfortunately unavailable today. Let's just say he's absent. Bye. Now then, I gotta go first. I won't let you. Hold on! I will not let you escape! Hey, hey. hey did you hear what he said? Huh? Oh, don't worry about it. There's no way Nekamaru is dead. He's just trying to piss us off. D damn it. Of course he's not dead. There's no way. Not in a million years. Oh. More importantly, it is best that we worry about ourselves for now. <laughs> if something happens here, everyone except uh, Nekamaru will die. <laughs> well, why, why are you excited about that? How about it? Who knows? Maybe I'm just looking forward to seeing a little bit of a po poetic justice prevail. What, what are you saying, fiend? <laughs> You'll find out soon enough. See? Then let's go. I'm gonna do it! All right, let's hurry up and get this over with. Yeah, you're right. Oh, I haven't been helpful at all. Oh, yeah, because you didn't get a, a thing. That's a, You're fine. I couldn't figure out the estimated time of death, and I'm so sorry for being a useless piece of trash. Don't feel bad. Talk to Fuyuhiko. Jeez. I already figured this, but it's best that we don't rely on Monami all that much. She's just saying stupid things, and it'll make us be even more confused. Maybe we should shut her up for good. Good job, Hayame. Again, I've been under the impression that Nekamaru is dead this entire time. Heart condition, shot to the heart. Like, uh, I, 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 I am, I'm a little peeved that they are dragging him through the mud. But it's okay. And that's when I noticed it. I noticed the lined up silhouettes keep getting smaller and smaller. The what am I missing? And when everyone was inside Monokuma Rock. The elevator began its steep descent as usual. But nobody said a word. We stood there trying to figure out what to say to each other and the elevator descended deeper and deeper. And when we descended as far as it could go, it finally stopped. The elevator door slowly opened, almost tantalizingly so. 
The light poured through from our, the other side, eroding the boundaries of the darkness. And when I walked into that place, My, my, it feels pretty toothless with all these empty seats. Well, two people got killed at the same time, and Nekomaru was not here either. If Nekomaru really not participating, if he's alive, you should invite him. Why bother? What? Now then, let us begin. It's the beginning of a long-awaited class trial. Please enjoy it to your heart's content. And so, the curtain to the third class trial was about to open. Ibuki, the ultimate musician. She was really loud, but she was the mood maker of our group. When I was with her, all of my pain and suffering just seemed to melt away. Hiyoko, the ultimate traditional dancer. Just from looking at her adorable face, you'd never know she was actually so selfish and foul-mouthed. But she was trying to change herself and was desperately trying to come to terms with Mihiru's death. The person who killed these two among is among us. I definitely cannot believe it. But whether I believe or not is irrelevant. Unless I figure out the truth, I won't be able to escape from this hell. That's why I must find it out, no matter the cost. For our sake. For our friend's sake. For Ibuki and Hiyoko's sake. I don't like the fact that they grayed out Nekamaru. Did you notice that? He was definitely darker than the other blues. Uh-oh. And so, the, certain, the curtain to the third class trial was about to open. There's a life-threatening trial billowing of hope and despair, and it has begun. In the next episode of Dang and Rope Up, Trigger Happy Havoc, we will be taking care of the third trial. So thank you guys so much for watching. And then this is going to be one crazy episode, and I am excited for it. So with that note, we'll see you guys then. Bye!